top of the hour, let's begin with the details of uh, after terming the Pythagoras theorem and the apple falling on Newton's head as fake news, a fresh controversy that has erupted in the state of Karnataka, this time over the NEP recommendation submitted by the panel. Now, the proportions and the part of the position paper for inputs to the union government to be included in the curriculum falls under NEP 2020. In a bit to introduce the Bhartiya way or the Indianized way of seeking education, Karnataka's national education policy has listed guidelines while raising questions on the Eurocentric concepts of education. Now the position paper, which is an essay that residents and arguable opinion about the contents of the textbook also highlighted the priority to ancient and traditional knowledge. Now the the government of Karnataka believes that the bid would be in highlighting the cultural identity of India among the students. So again, saying the Sanatana Dharma, when they said that Sanatana Dharma, it got certain principles, certain values. Mention them also in the books. The tragedy is that people without reading what the report says, they jump to the conclusion and make a statements. They call themselves as a liberal, they call themselves as the open-minded. This is a sad state of affairs. You know, just by seeing a cover page of a book, you can't review it. Obviously, there are certain plus points in that. Again, this is like position paper from Karnataka. Position papers of various states are compiled at NCRT. They are putting in a template. That template, final points of each position paper, they will keep it. That will make made available to the mandate groups at national level. Good morning, Deepak, who is joining us on the phone line with more on this, because what exactly is uh, the advantage and a uh, disadvantage, the pros and cons that are being now cited by the Karnataka government on this, because it has listed out several guidelines on the same issue that is now creating a controversy, Deepak. Yes, once again, uh, you know, textbooks come under uh, the scanner, uh, you know, the talks about what's going to be included and what's not. This, of course, is now a recommendation that has been made by the expert panel. Uh, the recommendation at this point in time, of course, uh, uh, comes in uh, to uh, the state department of research and training. Now, this position paper, of course, will be sent to the NCRT as well. So, because it, it is a curriculum under the NEP, there will be a a little bit of uh, influence of what the center has to say in this because position papers from various states will come in. But uh, this particular panel, of course, which consists of 11 members, has made these recommendations. Out of the 11, of course, the chairperson is Dr. V. Ramanathan uh, from IIT Varanasi. Now, they've mentioned various aspects. They've said that aspects such as Hindu genocide of, you know, of, for example, like Kashmiri Pandit, uh, the genocide that happened there. He talks about uh, the genocide of uh, Maharashtrian Brahmins, also the Mapla riots. He said all of this, of course, uh, needs to find a mention in the history. He said, uh, you know, the expert panel suggests that not just that, uh, even even subjects in uh, like mathematics, like science as well, a colonial pattern of thought is followed and a modern view of India and the history that India gathers with it needs to be looked into. All so right. we really have to see with these sort of suggestions made what will be inculcated and if it is, how the opposition really reacts to this. Right, just stay on with us, Deepak. We'll listen into that reaction once again because a lot of inclusion and uh, that is now being said as far as the education system in the state of Karnataka is concerned in a will to revive what they are calling is Indianizing the way of education. Let's listen in. So again, saying the Sanatana Dharma, when they said that Sanatana Dharma, it got certain principles, certain values. Mention them also in the books. The tragedy is that people, without reading what the report says, they jump to the conclusion and make a statements. They call themselves as a liberal, they call themselves as the open-minded. This is a sad state of affairs. You know, just by seeing a cover page of a book, you can't review it. Obviously, there are certain plus points in that. Again, this is like position paper from Karnataka. Position papers of various states are compiled at NCRT. They are putting in a template. That template, final points of each position paper, they will keep it. That will make made available to the mandate groups at national level.